Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the flip side with a brand new LP. And what game am I going to be playing? Well, first, let me cover what this is. As I'm sure a great deal of you know, in a month there will be a game coming out for a Wii U called Splatoon. It's coming out May 29th, and I'm very excited for this game, and I can't wait for it. So I decided I might as well make an entire month dedicated to a countdown to May 29th when Splatoon comes out. So I'm calling a series of videos that I will be releasing once every two days called Countdown to Splatoon. Which, as of today, it is Mar April 30th, so that should be a month. 29 days, really. So, you might be wondering how I'm going to be celebrating Month of Splatoon. Considering it's the only game in the franchise, in the fr yeah, series, it's not like there's any others to play. Well, Splatoon is like a shooter, but it's really unique and original, but the closest thing that I own to a shooter game that isn't a Metroid game is a Mega Man game. And I figured, what better time, now that I have some unexpected free time on my hands, to play a game that I planned to play but ended up being delayed for various reasons. So, consider this game part of Countdown to Splatoon. Ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite games, Mega Man Unlimited. And unfortunately, this is the only way I can record it. So, you'll just have to deal with it. There's nothing I could do. I tried. There's a warning. And here's the intro. You may have 20XXAD. Mega Man has managed to, pres to preserve world peace by defeating Dr. Wily once more. For only a few months, Mega Man has lost victory over the evil scientists. A robot claims to be looking for Dr. Wily's credit or plunging the world into chaos once again. I swear, Dr. Lloyd, I didn't want this to happen. I don't know what caused my robots to go berserk. I'm sorry about my German accent. Let's work together to fix this horrible situation. Alright. Said Santa Claus. It seems Dr. Wiley is sincere for once, so both me and Dr. Lloyd can work right away. It looks like some other force is controlling your robots, Dr. Wiley, but I have no idea what it is. What the? Who are you? Mega Man, go up the walls, kidnapped it. It might be the key to this mystery. Right, I'm on it! You are next, Mega Man. <laughs> Mega Man Unlimited, ladies and gentlemen. I love this song. This will be a 100% run. So don't worry about that. That includes showcasing endless attack, endless boss attack, world command stage, and the challenges. So for now, let's just focus on a new game. I have beaten the game on instant death, but for this let's play, I'm going to be using the Bullet Buster and Original Mode. I've beaten instant death, but it took way too long. So let's start off with the combo one. I will be also showcasing the ninth Robot Master, the secret one. Yes, there's ten total in this game. But let's begin. So, as you can see, Mega Man controls like in any other Mega Man game. He runs with the he runs with the well arrow keys. I'm using a keyboard. He shoots with V, or in my case X, and he jumps with Z, or in, I mean A, and in my case C. And here we have some pretty standard obstacles to the Mega Man series. Stuff that shoots at you. And 
Yes, and take for two of you who you both couldn't tell and haven't figured it out yet, Mega Man is a platformer game that was originally for the NES, made in the early uh, mid 1980s. It became a very popular franchise and went to not only of many games but many different series. This includes Mega Man Classic, Mega Man X, Mega Man Zero, Mega Man DX, and uh, Mega Man Legends, Battle Network, and Mega Man Star Force. Here we have a one up. I'm not going for it. And a checkpoint. This is classic Mega Man, done in the style of uh, the classic games. This game was uh, created by Canadian Philippe. I forget what his last name is again. And uh, this was actually created before Mega Man 10. In fact, Capcom themselves were so impressed by his work, they actually hired him to help with the production. That is an embarrassment to myself. To help with the production of Mega Man 10. It started off as a simple Flash game, but now it's a fully fledged Mega Man game, and it's even free. There's no reason not to get it. It's an incredible game, but let me warn you, it is not for the faint of heart. This game will kill you a lot. That last one was just embarrassing. So, like, I'm sorry. I, I have to apologize for that game. It's not even like I, I just wasn't paying attention. I apologize. But yeah, now we have the basic stuff out of the way. This game was originally meant to be a sequel to Mega Man 10. In fact, it was actually at first called Mega Man 10 until you know an actual Mega Man 10 came out. These uh, enemies over there will move faster when they are on the same level as you. And they occasionally shoot out bullets, but you can shoot them, which stuns them. Like that. Patience is gonna be your best friend in this game. Slide. And here we have a door, which leads to none, no one other than Comic Woman himself. The fight is relatively easy. I'll show you how it's done. These will orbit you, they can block your shots. Did I seriously just do that? And they will eventually close in on you. As you can tell, this fight, like the rest of the level, is in low gravity. So you don't have to worry too much. I slid. I don't know why, but I slid. Anyways, that is Comet Woman. And I will be doing two Robot Masters per video. Because otherwise this will be dreadfully short. So, let's see what we get. This is such a cool animation. And we get the Comet Dash. Yes, for those of you who don't know, when Mega Man defeats an enemy, he can take their weapons. Now this game, interestingly enough, has a shop where you can buy things for bullets that you get throughout the level. But we don't have enough bullets to use it. As of now. You can also save lower and choose which buster you want to use. And it'll just go um, to save. Next up, you'll be going to try Nitro Man. Interestingly enough, his name originally was Nitro Man, but it was changed to Try Nitro Man when Mega Man 10 came out, and it actually was Nitro Man. The name of his weapon, though, the Nitro Blast, remains the same. 
man as the name implies, this man loves explosives. This entire level, this pretty much the entire level, is made out of nitroglycerin. Yeah. Even the birds are made out of nitroglycerin. And somehow shooting the walls made out of nitroglycerin with plasma apparently does nothing. And here we have sports. Bigger ones I think are worth five. And the smaller ones are worth one. So yeah, shooting the nitroglycerin with plasma doesn't make it explode, it just makes it happen. And here we have nitroglycerin on from the ceiling. Nothing out of the ordinary here. And here we have frog. The one thing in this level that doesn't explode. Again, an embarrassment. I'm ashamed that I've done. I've done no game over runs of this game. By the way, I am using a keyboard for those who are curious. You can't use a controller though if you have one. I do not. Also, you can, other than just doing this, you can see that we have the Mega Buster, the Combo Dash, the Rush Coil, and I won't be using that now, just keep in mind that that's there. Now, we can't, we could switch to weapons like this. Alternatively, you can also use L and R to switch weapons. So, it's a good time I shot the Combo Dash. It's pretty simple, but it's also pretty cool. And it's more than its fair share of uses. Especially for speed running. I just love how creative this level is. And also, if there's one thing that makes this game incredible, it's the soundtrack. Seriously, I love this game's soundtrack. It's incredible. And here, secret exit. Yes, I'm thinking of Comet Woman's weapon, the Comet Dash. Can you enter this alternate route? It's much harder than the standard route. And if you play Mega Man 5, this might seem a bit similar to Gravity Man stage. I love this. Game. And you might be wondering what's the point of this harder alternate route. Well, I'll show you in just a second. Ah, I miss. As you can see, there's an O over there. There are four letters in the standard eight robot maximum stages. And I'm going to be collecting all of them. You need to be careful not to jump too high or too low. I'm ashamed. I'm, I'm ashamed. I feel bad for that. I apologize for that display. I am so sorry. I promise something that stupid will never happen again. That was idiotic when I died there. Also, bolts, game overs, I mean, uh, bolts, energy tanks, Weapon tanks, one ups, and energy pellets, and uh, weapon energy pellets will be restored if they're in a fixed spawn point if you get a game over. Shoot the right way, Mega. Ooh, what up?
Let's fight Trinitro Man. Now Trinitro Man has a very interesting mechanic. You see that glass jar in his head? Filled to the brim with nitroglycerin. If you shoot it once, you're fine. Shoot it twice, you're fine. Shoot it three times, he explodes. That's a good thing, right? No, if he explodes, it's an instant death for you and him. So you might be just... However, you also want to try and shoot it. And the reason for that is... Shooting it does 4 damage to him. Very helpful for speedruns. Oh, that was good. Also, there's a very interesting glitch where if he has 4 health or less left, shooting his chrome dome third time, whatever reason doesn't kill you if he has 4 health or less. And that's how you take down Tri Nitro Man. Pretty easy robot, ma ma robot master. And let's grab his weapon the Nitro Blast. Very powerful weapon, and it pierces shields. Very useful to have, especially this early on. But with that being said, I think I'm going to end this video here, so I will see you on the flip side.